Now let us take a look at the Friedman equation. This is the basic equation of cosmology and its solution tells us how universe will evolve on large scales. We can derive it actually in a fairly simple Newtonian approximation if we accept a couple results. First, there is so-called Birkhoff's theorem, which says that for a spherically symmetric system, the force due to gravity at some radius is determined only by the mass interior to that radius, which makes sense. And then also that energy contributes to gravitational mass density, so you really need to add them up together. So total energy or mass density can be expressed as one or the other modulus uh, square of speed of light. So how do we go about this? Imagine a sphere with a mean density of rho and radius of r, and acceleration to a particle on its surface, which is the second derivative of, of the radius, is given by the familiar formula. Now, if the, if the density changes, it changes according to the inverse cube of the radius, so if we again use subscript zero for present moment, then you can derive density at any given time through the cube of the radius divided by the present one, which we can assume to be unity for simplicity. So now plug that in the, in the first equation, and we have the following equation for the second derivative. Well, right away, this is telling us something interesting. If the density is not zero, the universe must be either expanding or contracting, because the second derivative is finite. And the sign depends, obviously, on the first derivative. But right away, this tells us that relativistic universe cannot be static. Well, we can integrate that in the following fashion. We multiply the whole thing with first derivative of r, r dot. And now we remember that from your calculus that derivative of the square of the first derivative is given by this expression. So we can plug that in and the equation now looks a little more complicated, but there is reason for this. And we also remember that the following will apply. It's the derivative of one over radius divided by time as independent coordinate is given by the following formula. So now we plug that in and we have an interesting simple differential equation which says the derivative time derivative of this thing in brackets is actually zero. And therefore the thing in brackets must be constant, so let's call it k. Turns out that's curvature constant. Now if we replace present day density rho zero with general density at any given time rho scaling by the appropriate scale factor and the divide by r squared, we get the following equation. That looks simpler, that in fact is the Friedman equation in the absence of the cosmological constant. So, f finally we get this result, and let's take a just inspection of this. If k is zero, as it could be, then r dot must be always positive because you move the gravity term to the right side, and the expansion goes forever. But it slows down because the density goes down. This is so-called critical or flat universe. If curvature constant is greater than zero, then initially r dot will be positive, and that means the universe will be expanding, but then at some point we'll flip the sign and we'll start contracting, and so that's close the universe. And if curvature constant is less than zero, then r dot must be always positive. It's never zero, and the universe expands forever, so that's the open universe. All right, so this is the Friedman equation, and we neglected details including what happens with cosmological constant, but if cosmological constant is included, that is just yet another term. And you can think of it as another density term, although it behaves differently from other kinds of density. So Friedman equation is the equation of motion for a universe, for a homogeneous, isotropic, relativistic universe. And solving this equation for given uh, parameters gives cosmological models. But in order to do this, we need one more equation, which is the equation of state, 
uh, which tells us how is the density of whatever is filling up the universe changing as the universe expands. So next time we'll talk about cosmological parameters and express Friedman equation in those terms.